First of all, happy birthday. Thank you. You've had back-to-back -back wins. You're going playing against Madagascar, a team that seems inspired, a team that seems fearless. What's your plan going to that, that particular, particular game? I don't believe that they are tired because uh, they won the game and uh, they are a team which is very fit. They have uh, good staff, I know them, French people who are working very well, physiotherapist, fitness coach, uh, Nicolas Dupuis is a very good coach also in France, so they will be very fit. I saw that this uh, the team with the, the age average, the most important, I think it's 29 point something, so they have the experience to recover very quickly, and they started like us on the same day, and we will play uh, tomorrow a match, which is very open against this good team of Madagascar. Ahmed Musa, as players, you've been grinding with us, despite people saying, oh, I reach Nigeria, this. What's the mood in camp, you know, I think things are settled. Are you looking to go forward into this particular game? Yeah, as you can see, this is not the, the last game. We have some issues, but we came out and showed that we are ready. So we have to keep that aside and Concentrate on the next game. So I know the important game is. I think my first game with the Super Eagles is against Madagascar in Calabar in 2010. I play with them. They are very good. But we see who's gonna carry the day tomorrow. Your question: Introduce yourself and your media. How to start from here? <coughs> you want it? Yeah. Microphone. Give. Come, come with us quickly if it's not working. Work on it, please. Hello, good morning. Kilish is my name. Uh, this board is Nigeria. Uh, coach, uh, happy belated birthday. Um, uh, you, you qualified for the next round. Um, uh, are we expected to see some changes in your line of play? Could you give us a hint or two at least? Uh, for you, Ahmed, um, the last time we didn't see you here, with, there were rumors of uh, the team not happy with the FA. Uh, about bonuses, and now there are rumors that um, those demands have been met partly. Uh, is the team happy with uh, what the FA has um, provided for them right now, or are there still some issues with the FA? So the first question is, uh, if you can expect some changings, I can say yes, because uh, I want to put everybody under pressure to be concerned by the matches, there is competition on each position now, even in the goalkeeper department, even in the central defense, even in for the striker positions. And uh, so uh, we will see in the last training tonight which changings we can do. You saw that already between the two first matches we had five changings and um, it's possible there will be another changings in the match for tomorrow. Yeah, for me, uh, I know that we have some issues, but we sit down to ourselves and then we talk to ourselves that we don't have to make that issue to be our problem in the camp. So as you can see, we came out the last game, we prove ourselves that we can do it. So for saying that there is something coming up, we don't know maybe if there is something. We just talk to ourselves that we just have to keep on going. When the FA is ready, they are ready, so we don't have anything. The camp is very lively. Another question? Microphone there? Okay, good morning. Uh, my name is David Stokes from Nigeria Coach. Uh, you said uh, there will be competition in the camp. My question is the two players, how are they faring? Let Nigerians know when they will come back into the team in Jamil College and Shiro Abdullahi. How far are they to come back into the first team? They are on the good way now. They are making uh, special training sessions with the physical coach and the physio, even this morning. And uh, I hope that they will be available for the next game, not for this one. This one is too short. Uh, we don't want to take any risk. We have 21 players. We have enough players. It is uh, true that it's too Fullbacks. So, uh, but Avaziem and Ola Aina did very well the job. We didn't concede any goal. 
So there is no reason to take a risk to bring them in already tomorrow. Another question? Okay. Yeah. The coach ju just put on your headphones because he's doing yes. Arabic. Okay. So, can you speak? Uh, just, just have your headphones. Okay. Start. Are you okay? Can you hear? Yes, about the question uh, about uh, the quality of the team of Madagascar. We saw them uh, doing better than us in scoring three goals against teams. We only scored two. So they were better offensively against them. But we had a solid performance in our two games. Didn't concede the goal. So there will be really an interesting match to see against the team who has a lot of offensive qualities. Also, they scored um, free kicks, some corners, and we saw them playing uh, yesterday. They made a very good match. And uh, I think that will be a final also in the group because the winner will be on the top. So it's a big motivation for us to win this game again, even if we know that a draw is enough to finish on the top. But we play to win our games all the time. I have a special thing for this uh, big country, a nice country, Madagascar, because they had an accident in the stadium on the national day on Wednesday. With 16 people died. So I think uh, they deserve this joy to be qualified. And they are qualified already, even if they lose. And uh, to bring some joy to the people who had this uh, accident two days ago. Okay, give it a little. Okay, uh, my name is Adoshi Victoria from Nigeria, Dr. Fit, Media Practitioner. My question is going to you, Mr. Is there, are there any other challenges the Eagles are facing apart from the everything issue that you want the government to look at the best way to? Yeah, I think uh, it's not only in Nigeria, all Africans will have the same issue, each time we have tournaments. So I think the government has to think about all this. It's not always we keep on embarrass our own country in any tournament. So it's not only in Nigeria, so I think it's all over Africa, so we have to look into this. Anytime we go to tournament, we see some teams saying that they are not coming or because of money. Thank you. 
Yeah, we know that it's a very tough game. Madagascar play very good. They have very good players, some quality players. But as you can see, we are not afraid of any country. We are just coming here tomorrow to give. After 90 minutes, we know who is the best team. Another question? Another question? Microphone there? Yeah, I think uh, we heard something about that, but we haven't seen anything. So maybe if I go back, something will happen. So like earlier I said, we just talk to ourselves that we have to keep that aside and concentrate on what we are here for. Thank you. I'm going to My name is Jude from Magic FM, about Nigeria. I have two questions. The first one, Coach. You obviously are going to win your group. Are you looking beyond the Madagascar game? There's a possibility of you meeting the third best uh, place team from ACLT. Are you considering that? That's one. Therefore, I'm the producer. I mean, we talk about the rank on the team and the players being divided as regards to financial rank and all of that. Do you think in any way it has affected the quality of your play as a team, I'm talking about Nigeria, because last time around, the goal didn't come early and there were some criticism for some quarters that the boys didn't play particularly well. Do you think all of this have affected what you can be on a very good one to <laughs> It's important to finish first of the group because it's better to play a third than a second. So we will do all to finish on the top of the group. And then uh, which one, we don't know. It can be uh, three different teams. We have uh, our scout, Victor Agali, is watching a lot of games in Cairo. And um, we only have this one. But ourselves, we, we have all the, all the matches in the, in the TV. And we can see uh, with our analyzer, Nabil Kabelsi, uh, what we want to see. So we have to prepare, of course to play against uh, a good team. You know that this could be uh, South Africa, if they are the th third in the, in, the, in the group. Could be uh, Congo, eventually, and could be uh, Cameroon or something. So in all the cases, there will be very tough matches in the round of under 16, but we are not there for the moment. We are focused on our game of tomorrow. Everybody is just talking about money, money, money. For me, I don't think uh, there is anything separating the, the team in the camp. As part of the last game, as you can see, even though you that you're not playing, you will see what the weather look like. So it's not that easy playing under this weather and you have to give all your 100%. If not, I had one lady telling me yesterday that she nearly collapsed when she was working. So it's not that easy, we that we are running, so it's not that easy. Each game is more important and then we are improving each game, so I think the next game will be more better. Another question? No question? Thank you so much, Thank Coach. Thank you very and, much. Uh, all the best. Yes. I'm a producer. Thank you. All the best. Nice to share that. Our next post conference starts at 4.15, Madagascar.